Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Malkin with me, Bring It Down. The last time danger is approaching, and here it is. An arrow flew by and landed in the grass. Another pierced a nearby tree. Donald heard the report of a firearm, saw people jumping out of the brush, heard weapons drawn and Pharaoh screaming. Then there was only the pain of headache. Manasseh and her companions had sprung a trap. Same stuff as last time we fought these folks. They added somebody. <laughs> All right. And immediately back down. Well, he's holding his own. He gets the extra armor class from standing in the tall grass, so... We might have it, we just not. If he could land his attacks. A 10 damage hit may have cost us the fight. Huzzah! I got our team back. Uh, let's focus this guy down. I can't select him. I want to debuff her so we can continue focusing her down. And this guy's next. He does way too much damage.
Then there was one. All right, <laughs> good job, Not. The battle attacks the magician, so taggered and bloody. Palamon, not in good shape himself, rushed to her. Are you all right? There, lean on me. He put his arm around her. But the magician wriggled away. If you're protecting Zaris, I will find out, she said to Donald. And after we find Zaris, I'll find Eldest Lady. Donald ignored the witch hunter. I'm not protecting Zaurus, he said to Maness. Lies, said the witch hunter. Do not listen. I have credible accounts that Zaurus is very close. I trust the witch hunter more than I trust you. A warning, she said. I know words that could unravel your mind. If I find out that you're protecting Zaurus, I will use them. She drew herself up. The grab and blood and fatigue encumbering her seemed to fall away. Donald felt the cold might of the geometrium behind her. Then she uttered a string of syllables that shook the young witch. Their sound was hideous and clear, a bell signaling to all reality that he did not belong there. Everything went dark. It stayed dark. With light came pain, excruciating pain, ten times what Donald had felt before the battle began. Not wrapped one of his big, grotesque arms around the young witch. By the time the pain completely subsided and sight returned, Maness and her band were gone. The young witch was attacked by Maness and her band again. Maness still seemed to be hunting Zaurus, and entertained the possibility that the young witch knew where he was. Before the magician left, she threatened the young witch by saying she had more powerful magic at her disposal. So how were they driven off then? I assume not drove them off? So we saw that last time we were here. Also, she has more powerful magic available, but I wonder what it costs her. Because if it didn't have a cost, she would have used it the first time we fought. So we go north. I don't think we can access the south from where we're at. We can head up towards the Royal Encampment, which may give us a fast travel point to explore north from there on the next day. So I think that's our current course. So we should go ahead and clear out this area real quick in case there's any items or... dead end. Fair enough. It's already 5 p.m. Uh, the twists and turns of the swamp brought Donald to another portal. The clouds passed over the sun, as they had the first time he encountered one, and an usher, played by two ambassadors, stepped out. Oh, he's vulnerable to magic. Everything else is the same. Good spot to stand. Reduce your armor class for me. Immediately took him out.
I saw that there's an achievement for taking out the elf candles, but it only applies if your main character takes them out. I have another idea. Olivine. Not worried about this guy either. I think we've got this in the bag. Oh, damage like that, maybe not. He's blocking the way again. The enemy's gonna come through the portal before I can get to the past this, right? Okay, we made it. Oh, I can't move for three turns. Son of a gun. Do I risk it? He can't... Takes out with one hit, so I think we've... Yeah, we gotta heal up here. I could have used that earlier. Oh well, what's done is done. Don't use a big heal. I may not have a choice. out on top. The path was safe again. Three companions continued on their way. So I wonder if that bit of dialogue confirms you don't get another companion. There's all this space here. I hope that you do. 
Also, I don't remember if I speculated out loud or not, but uh, Zaurus might be that guy we met, the other wandering witch. Who said he's gonna go to the tavern? Yeah, let's take the Hag Mallow. Uh, how close are we to leveling up? We're getting pretty close, what, 38? Pretty large map, but we can only explore this bottom right corner. I don't see any other open area elsewhere. Uh, real quick, let's check our map. No reason we shouldn't be on track, but it never hurts to check. Alright, so we're looping back around. That's not what I wanted to do. I don't know that we're going to make it to the Royal Encampment before. Time runs out. We've been here before, right? Yeah, we had to have been. All right. The layout didn't ring any immediate bells, so. Let's see if we can make it to the Royal Encampment before we're forced to go back to the cottage. We only have an hour, so I don't think we're gonna make it. I can find a landmark. Mud and pools of water still lay on either side of Donald's path. The taller trees and drier ground told him he was leaving the swamp behind. There's a footbridge to the north. Through the trees to the south, you can see a lovely meadow. We reached the meadow? Yeah, there was uh, two markers on the meadow to the south. I think we have to come around from that direction, so. That's right. The day was drawing to a close. Okay, so maybe it doesn't force you back until you try to transition to a new area. Because it was past 7 p.m. Saturday afternoon was becoming Saturday evening. Donna went back to the witch's house. Your second day has come and gone. Hope you're not as idle as middle one. Yeah, I feel like we didn't get anything done the second day. We fast traveled back and forth a fair bit, trying to clean up some areas. Idle hands make no dinner. The dinner these hands made, middle one remonstrated. Mushrooms, butcher's nuts, and sorrel leaves, eldest lady cackled. He said a basket in the woods and merely brought back what fell into it. Not true, said middle one. For I didn't fall into my own basket, yet here I am. <laughs> Donald sat down to eat. Eldest lady had been right about the sorrel leaves. But in addition to the sweet butcher's nuts and earthy mushroom heads were many berries, seeds, and herbs, and a cold, tangy dressing. The other witch's description had been quite unfair. They sat in silence for the remainder of the meal. It grew late. The events of the last two days had taxed the young witch. He fell asleep on the hard, small bed, as if it had light sheets and soft cushions. I may as well just travel somewhere, right? But where to? So we're there right now. We've explored down this side already. That's where that uh, door was at. We travel to this location, we head west and north.
Uh, so we do want to go north here, so. Portal it is. The king was at a merry spring, within a merry glade. The merry folk would to him sing, while merry children played. Which came by with ill intent, and with them merry maid, and drew a knife and slew the king with merry, merry blade. I just wanted to poison this time. Oh, they're all clustered together. A lot of those guys. I think they're the sergeants at arm. So. We'll soften this guy up for my other characters to defeat. Just like so. He's taking a bit of a beating. Uh, let's move here. Oh, we're immobilized. Well, I've got just the thing for that. So I should cast a spell first, right? To actually get more use out of my other item. Actually, we'll just cast this again. is clear. Let's make sure we get the kill here. So reduce our armor class like so. Blood of the bear. I should push Knot's turn back. So I reduce his armor class before I waste his attack. that guy. Just do our best to ignore him, then run to the portal. The clearing in the woods was quiet again. Up ahead, Donald saw a richly colored banner moving slightly in the summer breeze. Of a 
Quick save there. Donald recognized the banner of Dudo. A red bird, a yellow bird, and three diamonds. Curious. It's true that mapmakers drew the woods within the kingdom's borders. But everyone knew the crown had little power in a realm of witches and spirits. Did I take the banner? I did not. All right, so we're a little south of the encampment. Should be in the next node. On the third day, we're almost, I mean, we're at 41% of the map explored. And a new landmark discovered. Royal encampment added to map. Donald came upon a camp in the woods. Several silken tents stood within. The smell of cooking food and the music of bards wafted over. A tall, stern-looking woman, spear in hand, accosted him. He approached the royal escort of his majesty, King Sedis II of Dudal. You have business here. The guard seemed skeptical. The wear and tear of Donald's adventures gave him a wild look that didn't suggest royal business. At least not had become a normal gourd again. Very watched an overhanging branch. Uh, yes I do, said Donald. What is it? I'm looking for a murderer. Well, there are no murderers here. Maybe. Still, someone here might have seen or heard something that could help me. I doubt it. Can't I just pay my respects to the king? Uh, yeah, let me make sure, and then I'll be on my way. No. Royal encampment of a king is not a common room in which to ask questions. Even if you really are investigating, you'll find no answers here. We haven't heard of or seen any murders in our travels. Please leave. Alright, let's pull the witch card. I'll stay right here. I'm a witch, and you can't tell me what to do. The woman took a step back. A witch? Are you... Eldest Lady? No, but I know her. Then you must be a part of her coven. This wasn't quite accurate, but Donald didn't correct her. A short, slim man in fine clothes approached the two. Minister. Captain Ismeen. Let me speak to, uh, to this newcomer. The man turned to Donald. Our scouts saw you wandering the forest. They said they saw you use witchcraft and fight the Congress of Moths. And that crow, he said, pointed to Pharaoh on his perch, helped you. As did some kind of monster and... This he said in hushed awe. A ghost. You have good scouts. Of course. This is a royal escort. Only the best and most loyal Dudovians travel with his majesty. Excuse me. It's true then. Which walks in the royal camp? He said in a rather pretentious way. But I must ask, do you mean any harm to the king, to the kingdom of Dudao, or to any person here? Of course not. I had no idea this camp existed until five minutes ago. This monster that was said to walk with you, where is it? Donald had stowed not away, and no intention of revealing him. He's my servant, and comes when called. I don't think you'd like to meet him. I see. Captain Ismeen, the ambassador and I would like to speak with this witch. Give him leave to come and go as he pleases. Yes, Your ex Excellency. He turned to Donald. On behalf of His Highness King Cetus II, you're welcome here. Very welcome. It is a marvelous coincidence you're here, in fact. I'd say more, but I have to say requires privacy. Please follow me to the king's tent. 
The young witch met the Minister of Peace of Dudao and camped with the rest of the king's escort in the middle of the woods. He said that the witch's coming was a marvelous coincidence and that he wanted to talk in private. Alright, I'm going to call it here and next time we'll meet with the king's court, or at least the minister and ambassador, and go from there. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.